Bilsa show, we're going to spend some time in the dirty old Bilsa's bathroom we are. Play with the shit pod here, boys. Friggin' right. So I ordered myself one of these bidets I did. Neo 110. Boys on Amazon, hey? Eh? We'll get this thing open. It's got pretty good reviews. And we'll see if we can't squirt a butt cheek or two. Friggin' right we will. Why wouldn't we? So when we open the box up, what we got is... We've got ourselves a manual, which we probably don't need. We've got ourselves a T-valve and some Teflon tape and a wrench, boys. And it comes with the tube, it does. So, friggin' looks like it comes with everything we need to hook her up, boys. Friggin' right. Hopefully it's the old cheddar rooski here ain't too dirty for you, eh? But it comes with that, it comes with a seal, it comes with a wrench, it comes with a Teflon tape, and it comes with a bidet, eh? Nothing like a good bidet, boys. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the hell do you need a bidet for? What a dirty asshole we do. If you have a dirty asshole, we'll have a bidet, we will. We'll have a debate of a good time. Friggin' right. Check out that friggin' thing, eh? It's got a friggin' flapper. It's got a flapper, boys. What the hell does it have a flapper for? What's really going on? So it must go this way. It's gotta go this way. Huh. I'm not too sure how it goes, to be honest with you, but we're gonna friggin' find out we are. So first thing we gotta do is move you over here so you can see Bills of Shitter. Okay? That's what Bills of Shitter looks like. Probably like everybody else's. I've got a high-raise toilet here I do. With I got the uh, I got the pooper knob and I got the flush for the PP knob, eh? We got a pretty decent little toilet to work with. So first thing you wanna do is shut the water off, boys. Right? Move the shit rack holder. And we'll shut the old water ski off all the way. We'll give her the big final flush. Final flush, boys. We'll undo the safety valve skins. Uh oh, we might have to. Oh, we're gonna need a screwdriver. Oh, there's piss rats in there. Frig sakes! I got some piss rats under the hood. Ew. What's really going on? Oh well, I'll use a wife's toothbrush to clean that. Hold on, boys, until I go get myself a screwdriver. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squirt squirt these and clean them up a little bit because who the hell wants to play in piss? Not me, eh? Don't worry now, we can wash our hands after we're done this job, so don't worry if your hands get all covered in piss and shit and everything else, boys. It's part of the freaking game, it is. When you're taking your toilet seat off for the first time after five or six years, you're gonna have some shit and piss under there you're gonna have to play with. It's only human species. It's not gonna hurt you. Christ, I dump the shitter in the freaking trailer all the time, boys. So get used to her, eh? Friggin' right, you better get used to it. So we'll get this thing off. We'll give her a lick or two. Bob's your friggin' uncle. So that comes off. And underneath there, we're gonna give her another little squeezy squeezy, eh? A little clean up, boys. Actually, it's not too bad considering. Hey, look at it. Not too bad considering. A couple pubes, eh? A couple pubes, a little bit of greenness in there. And we'll just uh, give her the old wipe down, boys. Wipe the old chitter ring. Decent. So there we go. The dirty old bills of shitter ain't that bad, eh? She ain't that bad, she ain't. So, now what we need to do, take off the valve down here. If you can't see, here, let me move you around here. So we gotta remove, hold on boys. We gotta remove this off, here we do. We're gonna have a little bit of water coming out, but hey, good way to clean the floor, boys. Just let the water run. So throw a towel down there to catch that water. Frig, I wish there was somewhere I could put you down here, but there ain't. Careful. So now this valve goes on. I'm having a hell of a time with the camera here. So this T goes on, boys, like this. Hey, like this. Decent. Actually, she probably goes forward. It doesn't really matter where it goes. We'll adjust her when we need to, eh? And then this one goes back on here, like so. Hey, like so. Decent. And now we need the bidet. Bidet, badoo. So they say when you're putting this on, you're just gonna Turn these doodads until she lines up with the holes. Here, let me put you somewhere. For frig's sakes, I'm gonna drop my bidet in the toilet. So, they say you set her to where you need her, boys. And you turn these doodads, or whatnots, until they line up with the doodad. So you can actually get the shitter back together. Holy. So I'm thinking right friggin' there somewhere for that one. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like uh, hooking up the old bidet at Bill's why wouldn't you? Nothing like a good shit movie, boys. So I'm thinking right about there and right about there, eh? So now what we need to do 
Just put the old Cedarewski back on, like so. Oh, that's no freaking good. What the hell? I have no clue what I'm doing here. So we'll put the wing nuts back on. You know, sit here and think about this for a minute, because something's not quite right. I don't like the way that sits. That's gonna cock over the freaking situation here. I feel it coming. Let's have a quick peek at the instructions here. So yeah, I got that right. So I got that right, and I got that right. I don't want to blow up my toilet seat, boys. Eh? We don't want to blow up the friggin' toilet seat. Well, that's the way it says it goes. I don't know if I care for that too much, you know? It is what it is, it is. I'm gonna adjust that a little better. I don't like that, boys. Get this thing more centered up, eh? Can you see? Probably not. Why the hell could you? Oh, careful! Easy. Gentle. Let's get these things right off. So, that's about middle, right there. Right here, right there, right here. Right here, boys. All right, so now that's about center. So now let's put the toilet seat back on. And I can see what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna bust this thing right in half. It's a little bit of a dick, actually, to be honest with you. They make it look so easy, but it's not really easy. Everything's gonna line up just perfectly. So we'll get this one snugged up on this side, and that way we'll have somewhere to start, eh? There we go. We just want to snug her. We want to tighten her, because this one's still all cocked over and not in the right spot. Slide that like that, and start the other one. I can tell you right now, I can tell you right now, it's gonna need some friggin' wedges on the old toilet seat of Ruski here to get her straight because, wow, that's all I can say. So we'll lift her up real quick just to have a boo to make sure it all looks good. It's pretty much where it wants to be. So we'll shut this back down again, tighten her up some more. Jim. Oh, careful! I think it is broker, boys. Toilet seat's lined up. Snap them back down, lift this up. See if we can't, that's not gonna work. And a bust in my bidet, eh? Why is that sitting up so high? This toilet seat sucks. It's a toilet seat issue. If I sit on that, I'm gonna break the bidet. So for my application, it ain't working too good. Got too much of a lip on my toilet seat right there. I'm gonna have to take it off and grind the seat down right there. This installation isn't as easy as I expected for this toilet seat. I got a toilet seat issue. So I gotta take it back off for a minute and I gotta do some fabrications to the toilet seat. Fabricate on the toilet seat oh. Why wouldn't we? We'll go take out this lump on this seat, if you will. All right, so I sanded down my toilet seat and it looks decent. And you would never know it from this side. Frig no. So hopefully this takes up the gap. So some toilet seats do require some modifications. Just saying. So we'll get the old rings back in and we'll line her back up. And now we'll throw the toilet seat back on and hopefully we get somewhere this time. Make sure you wash your hands after touching them, honey. Decent, why wouldn't you? Does it sit flat now? It does. So it clears now. So we're getting somewhere we are. So make sure you don't just bolt this down and sit on it because you'll break your bidet, boys, until you make sure it fits right. Some people would probably say, ah, it doesn't fit right, I'm sending it back, piece of junk. But hey, some things require some modifications. Just remember that. Don't be modifying, boys. There we go. Decent. There we go. Toilet seat straight. Lift her up, check her out. I think she'll be all right, right that. Toilet seat's crooked with dicks. So now that that's done, we'll put them back down, and we'll grab the water line, and we'll slap it on. So the water line goes on here, so, like so. Quite a contraption. Careful. Easy. Now when you're doing this, always make sure you don't have a leak when you turn the valve on. <laughs> Careful. So everything looks good. So far. So now, we'll give her a shot, boys. See if it works. You ready for this? I'm not. Careful! Jesus! Boys! That thing shoots a stream. So I gotta loosen the seat up because it's not quite aiming on the butt cheek quite right. <laughs> you little off. Oh, geez. So you might have to play with it a little bit until you get it just where you want her, boys. Because I'm picky. I like stuff perfectly straight. I don't know if anybody else is like that or not, but I am. Freaking right I am. Careful. They're only plastic build, remember. So there we go, boys. So that's all there is to hooking up the bidage, boys. So there she is, eh? She's all teed up. No drip, no drip. She's decent. And it shoots a good stream, it does. Check it out, eh? Think of my showers right there, boys. I have a problem. Look at that thing shoot. Holy. Ah, there's a butt clear, boys. Decent. Freaking right, it's decent. Does it work with weight on her? See if she'll work with weight on her, boys. Sure does. 
Looks like it might tickle my balls. Looks like that might be a ball tickler, boys. <laughs> Just saying. Hey, freaking right. But anyway, hopefully you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell bar button if you like this kind of stuff. Why wouldn't you? And uh, I'll put a link below for the old day, boys. Why wouldn't I? So hopefully everybody's having a good day like me and not doing anything I didn't do. And uh, you know what to freaking do for now.